Picture this. Inside your gut, there are tiny creatures, both good and bad, waging an eternal battle. These microorganisms aid in digestion, extract nutrients, and even produce essential vitamins. But when the balance between good and bad bacteria is disrupted, chaos ensues. Your gut becomes a haunted house, leading to a host of gut-related horrors like bloating, gas, and even serious health issues. But before we dive into the frightful details, let's understand why our gut is so important. Deep within our digestive system lies a hidden world known as the gut microbiome. This intricate ecosystem of trillions of microorganisms influences our overall health in more ways than we can imagine. From digestion to immunity and even our mental well-being, it's like a dark magic swirling within us. The health of this ecosystem of bacteria and microorganisms is determined by what we eat. So if you want to keep your gut healthy and happy, then you must stay away from these top 10 evil foods that wreak havoc on your gut. To give you an accurate description of these harmful foods, I'm going to introduce each food with a spooky description and spell out its effects on the gut. This villainous substance fuels the growth of harmful bacteria and yeast, creating a feeding frenzy in your gut. Say goodbye to a healthy gut balance. I could think of a thousand and one reasons why you should stay far away from refined sugar, but here's a few. Too much sugar intake will gradually kill your healthy or helpful gut bacteria. This is usually the genesis of a lot of body inflammation. Refined sugar will likely spike up your blood sugar level because of the rapid digestion that occurs in the first part of the small intestine. Some examples of refined sugar include sweetened beverages like soda, sucrose, table sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and agave syrup. If you would love your gut to stay healthy, then stay away from refined sugar. The next category of bad food for your gut is just as terrible as sugar. These deceptive demons promise sweetness without the calories, but they trick your gut into believing something unnatural has entered. Prepare for a gut microbiome rebellion. The narrative is that these diabolical artificial sweeteners can replace sugar in food and drinks, but the horrifying truth is that they are 100 times sweeter than sugar. The ugly effect of artificial sweeteners is the fact that a large amount of artificial sugar, which adds no nutritional benefit to your body, is consumed by some people who are trying to avoid sugar. However, too much artificial sugar has been known to be responsible for high blood pressure, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, obesity, triglycerides, and even dental issues such as cavities. You can get artificial sweeteners in a lot of processed foods like donuts, bread, candy, sweetened tea, and soda. If there was any evil food to look out for, it would be what was mentioned above. But this isn't all of it. Processed food is also not innocent here. These ghouls haunt your grocery store shelves loaded with preservatives, additives, and unhealthy fats. They send your gut bacteria into a frenzy, leaving your digestion in disarray. It's good that I say this now for your understanding. As a general rule, bear in mind that the more processed the food, the more unhealthy it is for you. Excessively processed foods and drinks are likely to contain a higher level of refined carbohydrates, saturated fats, salt, and chemical additives. They may also often lack dietary fiber, good sources of protein, and healthy fats. The resultant effect is a lot of overweight people with heart disease, depression, irritable bowel syndrome, asthma, and even cancer. Processed animal-based foods such as sausages, bacon, and creamy desserts are associated with having more harmful gut bacteria as well as highly processed plant-based foods such as juices. So watch out for that highly processed food. It can be very harmful to your gut. And do you know what else is harmful? Gluten. For those who are sensitive or intolerant, this maleficent protein found in wheat, barley, and rye can unleash a storm of gut inflammation and misery. Beware! Did you know that gluten can reduce the amount of good bacteria in your gut? Not just that, it can significantly harm your immune system knowing full well that 80% of your immune system resides in your gut. This is called gut-associated lifoid tissue, or GALT. In case that doesn't scare you, consider this excerpt published on the website of Hyperbiotics. It reads, 
Besides triggering your GALT, gluten can also cause the cells of your intestines to produce a protein called zonulin, which can break down the connections between the cells that make up the walls of your intestines. This means that anything that's going through your intestines, microbes, food particles, toxins, and those antibodies can leak into your bloodstream and from there go anywhere in your body. It gets even worse because once these antibodies escape into other parts of the body, they can just get excited and start attacking whatever they find around them. I'm quite sure this is not something you want. Don't even get me started on what fried foods can do to your gut. Deep fried delights may tempt your taste buds, but the greasy aftermath they leave in your gut is nothing short of a horror story. <gasps> Prepare for indigestion and heartburn. Excess of fried food will ruin your gut microbiome. A study by the American Diabetes Association showed that a group that ate fried meat ended up with less diverse gut microbiota than the control group, which impaired blood sugar balance and caused higher toxin and inflammation levels. Excessive intake of fried food has been linked with negative health outcomes like type 2 diabetes. So the next time you feel like eating french fries, chicken fried steak, and corn dogs, remember your gut and think of type 2 diabetes. That ought to jolt you back to reality. These monstrous fats are created through an unholy process, causing chaos in your gut and wreaking havoc on your cardiovascular health. <sighs> Run away from them. You can find these little evil and vile creatures in foods like cakes, donuts, cookies, and crackers. A quick look at the nutritional facts panel will tell you just about how many of these little monsters you're about to ingest. The American Heart Association recommends cutting back on foods containing partially hydrogenated vegetable oils to reduce trans fat in your diet. You'll reduce the risk of heart attacks and stroke by staying off this food. But how about dairy products? Some may find this chilling, but dairy can be a nightmare for your gut. Lactose intolerance and the potential disruption of your gut flora will make you scream. But seriously though, dairy products have been known to stimulate the production of BCM7. These are harmful amino acids that trigger inflammation. And if you think dairy products are terrifying, how about alcohol? In moderation, it might seem harmless, but excessive alcohol consumption unleashes a ghastly chain reaction in your gut. It damages the delicate balance of your microbiome, leading to digestive horrors. These frightening pharmaceuticals may be necessary at times, but their indiscriminate use can be catastrophic for your gut. They wipe out both good and bad bacteria, leaving a barren wasteland. This is known as dysbiosis. And last but not least is fast food. The monstrous creation, made from the darkest corners of processed ingredients, haunts your gut like no other. High in unhealthy fats, refined carbs, and artificial additives, fast food sends your gut health spiraling into the abyss. Fast food is like a combination of all of the other unhealthy foods we've already discussed. This is the mother of all gut-wrenching foods. For the most part, fast foods are a high-fat and high-calorie diet. This increases the level of obesity-causing bacteria in the gut and reduces overall gut bacteria levels in the body. Fast foods are dangerous and can be classified as an epidemic, especially in the United States and many European countries. So there you have it, my friends, the top 10 bad foods that spell doom for your gut. But fear not, our channel is here to guide you towards a happier gut and a happier life. And remember that a happy gut equals a happy mind. If you care to learn more about nurturing your gut microbiome, I invite you to watch our other spine-tingling video titled, Happy Gut and Happy Mind. Just click the link below and embark on a journey to restore your gut health. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more chilling episodes. Until next time, stay healthy!